Look, Laura. It's our favorite part of the day. It's these bag tennis balls, you know, because dogs love them. <laughs> Hey everybody. Fat Bird Finds here. I'm Ray Beth. And I'm Laura. And today, Laura, we are hosting some friends who have come to Paducah. I know, I feel a lot of pressure. I know, me too. I hope they find some good stuff. Me too. So we have brought them to the shed in Paducah and Misty is here, Jeffrey is here, and George is here, and Patrick is here. Yeah, we just left Lehman's and we didn't film there because we can film there anytime. Right. And they all film there, so check out their channels for that. Yeah, absolutely. So we're gonna walk around the shed and show you some cool things today. We didn't intro with our masks on, yeah. but we promptly put them on after, because I was like, we need to put these on. Yeah. We have to be safe. Have to be safe. What'd you find, Laura? Look at this. You need it to make your pickles, Mary Beth. Yes. <laughs> I wonder how old that is. You think it would work? Uh, maybe. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. I you love know? those cups, those glasses. Those look like you. I like those a lot. I don't think they're actually maybe vintage. Maybe they're just made to look like it, but they're really cute. Mm -hmm. And I've also seen uh, some people posting like Garfield and Snoopy glass mugs like this. Some of them, I don't, I'm not knowledgeable enough to know if, if that one is super valuable or not, but I have noticed some people making some money on some of these. So in the wild, Laura has found another, another piece of concrete statuary that she painted a long time ago. That's the lead finish. <laughs> Laura, that's insane. I know. That's like two. That's great. And look at this moose though. He's like a little console. I guess you put like your watch or your rings right there and maybe your billfold in the back. Look how funny he is. Another yellow bowl, 30 bucks. That would be cute in Megan's. Megan's, Megan's new apartment is gonna be Boho Beach. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that sounds really cool. But wouldn't that be cute? Because that looks like... It would, because like... it's like... A, yeah, I don't know. I, I think that's Coney Island. Yeah. Misty, you need that Mountain Dew cooler. Oh, yeah. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> she didn't hear me. I mean, it's... This is stupid. So cute. The little guy. How much is it, though? Look, there's a... Laura, look at that lamp. Isn't that gorgeous? You know, it's a reproduction lamp, but it's beautiful. Can you imagine what that looks like lit with those dragonflies? Yeah, I bet that's really pretty. They have a lot of imports here. How do you know? <laughs> I just know things. <laughs> Look at them side-eyeing each other. They're like, what are you doing? Mary Beth, I know you don't like reproductions, but isn't that cool? Oh, that is cute. I think that's adorable. I need those orange Fire King mugs for my kitchen. I know. <laughs> They've been here a while. They have. <laughs> Laura. Laura, it's your favorite. It's paperweights. <laughs> uh uh, it's your favorite. You don't like them? <laughs> no, I do. She doesn't understand the concept of a paperweight. You don't understand so that we hold your paper down? Right. She's like, who needs to hold your paper down? <laughs> I am from Anderson. Hold it down from what? Clair was made. I have a St. Clair lamp. It's, I like paperweights. I know. Jeffrey's like right. paperweights. I think they're really pretty. She does. It's just a big joke. She's like, I just don't even understand. Hold all your oh, papers. Yeah, There's a look. butterfly, I think. Wait, Jeffrey's going to explain paperweight to you. Yes. yes. So back in the day, people would print <laughs> things out on paper. <laughs> so that's actually a, a material made out of wood. Okay. <laughs> trees. Oh. Yeah. And it's very thin. They bleach it, too, so that oh. you can see what you're writing. That sounds handy. It is, and it can blow away sometimes. That's not handy. So you put one of these on there. Oh. You could just close your window, but... No, I, I totally get it now. And you could also put it in your window. Oh. And make your neighbors jealous. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. That was Thank great. You. Wealth of knowledge. <laughs> Look at all of them. See? 
all the paperweights. Those are fabulous. I know. It's just a big flamboyance back there. You got the flamingo and the oh, little sea creatures. Oh. Like first aid. Right pamphlets here. in here. Red, yeah. red, jar, red Cross. Well, this little pamphlet was neat. Like, it's from the Travelers like Insurance grandma. Company. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. Preventative hygiene. Uh -huh. <laughs> And for only $3.99. Okay. Laura, I like those little bowls with the roosters. Oh my gosh, aren't they cute? Those are very cute. Is this carnival glass? Uh, no, it's not. It's jadeite, and it's probably, I don't know, we can't really see. I love this crackle glass so much. So Laura and I just basically just found it was very similar to this. They've got theirs marked at twenty five dollars, Laura. Yeah. Ours has the extra piece. It's a little different, but I mean it's the same. It's yep. The same. Yep. What is this? Oh, it's very vintage. Uh, feel that. Can you feel it? It's like plastic. Oh, yeah. On there. And of course, George knew the name of it. I don't see him right now. You know him. when you took the wax crayon and you colored over your Easter eggs yes. before you dyed them? That's kind of what it feels it does. like. Except like times 10. We use these every day at my grandma's house. Really? Yeah. Aren't Those they are cute? so cute. When you dyed Easter eggs, did you... Um, like dye the whole thing or did you try to draw on them with the wax crayon? I liked them just plain, but I did do some with the wax crayon. Also, I would did, like put my name on there. Did you ever use the sleeves that came with them? You know, like those? No, I didn't like those. <laughs> do you use the sleeves? No. Oh. Did you ever put the stickers on them? No. Okay, last question. <laughs> did you hide Easter eggs all day, like in the sun for days and then eat them later? No, I don't like to eat them, but oh. we would, yeah, find them days later. I think later. that I probably <laughs> ate them after having hid them. Of oh, course well. you did. That's probably what's the matter with me today. Probably. Laura, mm -hmm. maybe we need to decorate with croquet balls, like as a centerpiece. Well, I think you definitely do, because it kind of fits your game circusy theme. True. I never thought about that, but we need that. Okay. Okay. Looks like it came out of a, a nightclub. nightclub. This makes me want to... Hey, we sit here. And yeah, <laughs> Laura. Wouldn't that be great? Can we buy this yes. and flip and sip on this? I mean, doesn't this make how you fantastic. want? Fantastic. Doesn't this make you want to have a cocktail? Yes. How much is it? I think we need it. <laughs> Let's see. Price anyone? I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, certainly. Patrick is commandeering our cart. We parked it. Look, it looks like you're finding some good stuff. This is almost all from one booth. Hey. I found coasters. Nice. <laughs> I think I have a problem. Yay. Hi, Jeffrey. Hi, everybody. All right, well, have fun. That's all We're talking to time. Michelle in the middle of our video. Uh, Hmm? This one's marvelously plotted and deliciously sophisticated. Ooh. Ooh. Like red weather. It sounds like you're oh. a little salty. <laughs> <laughs> There's a retro diner book. Comfort food and That's pretty. I like that. Yeah. I really like big signs that say 40% off. Me too. They should have more of those. Yes. <laughs> Laura. Oh, I like him. I don't know. He might be too expensive. He's uh, six dollars. What do you think? He's pretty. Yeah, I want him. Okay. I like him. Good job. He's not marked. Oh. Nope. I still I like him a lot. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, these paperweights are cute. That one's like a little seal. This one's an elephant. With oh, his trunk cute. up. 
I like those glasses down there with the circles on them. Those are cute too. There's always a lot of really cute stuff in this booth. Mm -hmm. Should I buy this one? I bought one yesterday. It's expensive. Did you really? Yeah, I went to Dollar yesterday. It was a membership. What? So I won't buy, buy this brand. Huh? Did you have already? It's one of the two things I bought at that antique mall yesterday. Look, he looks a little bit like your banks that we're looking for. Oh, too. yeah. A little bit. I like the draft. Dogs are cute. They're listed at $13. These giraffes are cute. Five dollars, five dollars, and four dollars. That's cute. That's a pretty good price on those. Mm -hmm. Film on where, where they are. Aren't they cute? Well, I will. I don't have any film in this phone, but <laughs> I'll record them. Those are really cute. This is a cute booth. Lots of really cute Pyrex. <laughs> Glassware. These cute little metal cars. Oh, those horses are cute. Made in Brazil. Seven dollars. These prices are pretty spot on in here. Yeah. Laura knows everybody. Look, Laura, it's our favorite part of the day. It's these bag tennis balls, you know, because dogs love them. <laughs> What'd you find, Laura? Okay, I got maybe our next flipping and sipping. Oh, hey. Are they? Painted wine glasses. Are they cute, tacky enough? Those are pretty good. Oh, I <laughs> Speaking of cute, look at that. Man, I love that. He is adorable. What is he? $35. We'll pass on that, but that's awfully sweet. Mm -hmm. So we said earlier that in the middle of a table, those croquet balls back there was a like a cool centerpiece. It would also be awesome to put pool balls in a bowl. I think that would be really cute. Yeah, and I mean, just with certain color schemes like yours, and yeah. certain aesthetics like yours, it'd just be perfect. Absolutely, I think that's awesome. What's he? He's a oh, little bear. Oh, he's cute. Is he a planner? Yeah. Of course. What did you see? I don't know, I thought Misty might like this little luster. <laughs> I think most things in this booth are priced pretty, pretty much retail. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Okay, so we forgot to do the outro while we were at the shed. <laughs> we had so much going on. Yeah, we did. So I think that I tried to shoot it and then my camera may have messed up. So here we are. We didn't know what we were going to piece together. Either. Exactly. So we didn't pick up a ton at the shed. It was really just kind of us following around everybody else and watching and exactly we can go to the shed all the time and so we wanted everybody else to find good deals and so yeah. we were having fun but we picked up a few things but it was fun just to you know kind of follow everybody around and see what they were picking up <laughs> it really was it was great okay so let's show you a couple things that we picked up so the first thing that we picked up was this little swan planter look how cute he is it's very cute not only do I really like the way that he looks, and of course I think he's mid-century for sure, mm -hmm. or 70s, but I mean, he's vintage, but 
you know, it's hard, usually hard to ship those swans because they got big loops in their neck and they've got their wings come out. Oh yeah. But he's going to be really easy to ship. Yes. And get there pretty safely. And he's yeah. so pretty. I love all that green. I know. I love those colors. He is not marked, but I just think that's darling. Yeah. So let's see. We got him for $5.99 and he should, I would expect him to bring 12 or $14. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Laura, every time I look at him, it makes me laugh. I've looked at him two or three different times. Isn't and it still he cute? It cracks me up. Okay, so I assume that you put like your rings or your watch or whatever here, and that this would be like for your billfold. Mm hmm. Hold this. You guessed it. You call that a valet. A valet. So, like, maybe you could hang your watch there. Exactly. <laughs> Isn't that great? And I guess this is a manly design, it being a moose and all, but. I, I think would, it's adorable. I would put this out. <laughs> I, who wouldn't? Look at that face. I know. And look, he was um, $3, but I think it was the 40% off booth. It was. And I would expect him to bring at least $12 or so. Yeah. Yeah. So this is where your law of averages come, in, come out. So, you know, we spent a little less than $3 on this guy. And what was it? It's like $6 on the right. swan. So, right. you know. They're going to average out. Exactly. <laughs> So then Laura found these cute little owl salt and pepper shakers. It's so funny. We have laughed about getting salt and pepper shakers. Little did I know they were so popular with like Misty and Jeffrey. It's been a race to the salt and pepper shakers yeah. all weekend. Yeah, it has. It's so funny. But anyway, these have got Japan written all over them without even turning them over and looking, right? Because they look like something from Odagiri or just the design of them. Yes. But sure enough, they have a sticker and it says Counterpoint Japan. There it is, I think. But aren't they cute? Yes. Yes. I love those. Okay, Laura, so here was our last pickup of the day. Yes. And we did get a few more things. We gave mom some things. Yeah, I bought did. her some things to take home and stuff that yeah. I saw for her. So we got a couple other things that we don't have with us. But, and then this is going to be a gift for my daughter. So check this out, Mary Beth. Yay. You're the Pepsi person. I'm usually the Coke person. But this is a Pepsi product tray. It's so cute. And George, the antique nomad, when we were shopping around, he picked this up and he goes, Laura, look at this. And yeah. um, he said, it's in the 40% off booth. And so they're asking $25 for it, but 40% off would be a good deal because they do bring about $30 or so. Right. And um, it's Coney Island. And then, but just all the detail is so cute in that. And my daughter is getting her first apartment and her decorating theme is Boho Beach. Well, there you go. Boho this, Beach. This is perfect. <laughs> yeah, so she's going to have the macrame and the blue and then the little beach items. And I just think that fits that perfectly. I would have never called it that, but I think it, it works. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. Good job, Laura. Thanks. So we want to thank you guys for coming along with us to the shed. This has been such a cool weekend with all of our friends. Please make sure that you check out everybody else's videos. I have made a playlist. So this video is part of a playlist of everybody's videos from the like YouTube get together weekend. That's such a great idea. We always do that when there's a planned collab. Right. And why not do it with all of these? Because everybody's making their videos and they can all be in one spot. Yeah. So Misty, uh, George, Jeffrey, and Patrick, if I've missed any of your videos, let me know and I'll be happy to put them in the playlist so that they'll all be together. Yeah, that's just a fun, easy way to watch them all. Exactly. So make sure you like this video. Please leave us a comment below. We love to read and respond to your comments. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and stay tuned to see what Fat Bird finds next. See you next time. Bye everybody.